My name is Matthew Scott, and I'm an engineer working on the Juju GUI. Um, we're going to walk through deploying OpenStack with the GUI. This will be done on the GUI as it will be, um, and but except that we'll be running in a development mode or a sandbox, so everything will move pretty quick. We won't have to wait on services to actually or uh, machines to actually start up or anything. However, all the steps are the same for a real environment. Uh, there is work in progress, which includes a deployer, which can deploy pre-constructed bundles. This will allow one to simply deploy OpenStack. Um, however, we're going to go through all the steps required to deploy everything involved in running an OpenStack deployment. So before anything else, we'll need a database and a message queue. We're going to go with MySQL and RabbitMQ server. So let's start with MySQL. You can click at, on, a, on a term here on the sidebar and add a canvas. Um, you can also drag and drop, which we'll, we'll be doing later. Uh, so let's confirm this. Now we have a MySQL and add uh, And now we have a database and our message queue server. Everything's a little big, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit. All OpenStack ser services require Keystone Identity Service, and Keystone requires a database, so let's deploy Keystone and add the relation to MySQL. Drag Keystone out here and confirm. And now we can create a, a relation between MySQL and Keystone. If you click on a service, you'll see Build Relation. That'll let you drag a line over to Keystone. And now we have a shared DB relation between MySQL and Keystone. The core of an OpenStack deployment is the compute service, which is Nova. To allow the service to scale easily, we separate the API services from the compute service itself into two charms. Nova Cloud Controller and Nova Compute. So let's start with Nova Compute. If you, since the, we have the ellipses here, you can always click on a charm to make sure that it's the one you want. So let's add that to Canvas. We want the latest stable version of OpenStack, which is Grizzly from the Ubuntu Cloud Archive. So set the OpenStack origin field to cloud colon precise dash grizzly. Since we have a tooltip, scroll scroll a little bit and I'll it. And then once we have changed that configuration variable, we can then confirm and that will carry over to deploying the service. So now we have our Nova compute node or a, a service. Let's move over to um, Nova Cloud Controller next, and I believe it's right here. It is. So let's add it to Canvas. We'll want to take advantage of the software-defined networking offered via Quantum, which will be deployed later. So set the network config field to Quantum and the confxnet to yes. Confxnet. Yes. And the networking manager. Additionally, we'll want to use the latest stable OpenStack, Grizzly again, for the Ubuntu Cloud Archives to set the OpenStack origin field to cloud colon precise Grizzly. And then we can confirm. Nova service requires relations to the database, message queue, and identity service. So add the following relations. Nova Cloud Controller to our RabbitMQ server. And we'll drag this up here so that's a little easier to do. You can build a relation from either direction and it will work. Nova Cloud Controller to MySQL. Nova Cloud Controller to Keystone. And then we need Nova Compute to RabbitMQ server. and Nova Compute to MySQL. I'm going to do a little trick here, and you can use a long click to add a relation between two services. Now we need, of course, the relation between Nova Compute and Nova Cloud Controller to combine the two services into one big Nova service. And you can 
always drag your services around to make the topology as flat and readable as possible. Now we need an image service, which we'll use Glance for. Um, it's required to serve the virtual machine images to the compute service, which is Nova. So we'll start with Glance here. We'll drag that onto the canvas. Glance requires Glance requires um, oh, I lost my spot here. Glance uh, will want to use the, the latest stable OpenStack Grizzly again from the Ubuntu Cloud Archive. So as always, use the set the OpenStack origin to cloud colon precise grizzly. Glance also requires a database and identity service and needs to integrate with the various Nova services. So let's go ahead and add those relations. Start with MySQL and Keystone. And then we'll relate it with the Nova Cloud Controller and Nova Compute. So let's drag it up over here so that we can uh, create relation lines that don't cross too much. There's Nova Compute and Nova Cloud Controller. We can rearrange this a little bit to make it more readable. Something. Okay. To take advantage of the software defined networking features in OpenStack, we need to deploy Quantum itself. So let's def let's look for uh, Quantum Gateway. And deploy that. Again, we'll need to set the OpenStack origin to cloud colon precise grizzly so that uh, so that we use the latest version of OpenStack. I'm just going to change Folsom to And of course, Quantum also requires access to the database and message queue. So let's go ahead and add the relations uh, between those. So quantum gateway needs to be related to MySQL, to RabbitMQ server, and to the Nova Cloud Controller. Let's move Keystone up and out of the way and make sure everything is readable. And the last step here is to deploy the graphical web front end, which is Horizon, to control everything on this canvas. So let's search for OpenStack dashboard. And again, if you can't see the entire charm, you can always open the charm and see all the information you need about the charm. And then add it to the canvas. Now, Horizon only requires access to the identity service. Uh, to, so we, all we need to do is add those that relation once we deploy it. And since uh, Keystone is up over here, let's move OpenStack dashboard up over here and build that relation. And that's it. We've deployed um, an entire OpenStack uh, deployment to uh, our Juju environment using only the Juju GUI. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of relations involved, and we can find the best way to set, align everything to create uh, the most readable topology, um, however, however that best works out. And so I, I hope this has um, helped shown the power of Juju and the power of the GUI itself to, uh, to how easy it is to just deploy an entire OpenStack environment.